Bitcoin is climbing back somewhat today, but it's down 30 percent this month, wiping out hundreds of billions of dollars from the crypto market. Kate Rooney is here to dig into the crypto chaos numbers. Kate? Hey, Kelly, that's right. As crypto was going up, investors were looking to get an edge during that boom and created complicated, largely unregulated financial products to capture yields. But as prices collapsed, that murky lending model is now unraveling. We've seen hedge funds like Three Arrows failing to beat margin calls, other crypto companies freezing customer funds, and investors that I've been talking to in part blame competition and the number of projects popping up promising 18 to 20 percent yield. The amount of interest-bearing crypto products uh, projects, Kelly, has roughly tripled in the past couple of years. This chart here is from Chainalysis. Those higher yields are a way to get investors in the door, but they do tend to be riskier. The other big issue, very little disclosure on the back end, that makes the collateral hard to track. And many right now are worried about counterparty risk and solvency. One person I spoke to over the weekend compared it to the subprime mortgage crisis. Analysts over at Glassnode are calling this a mini financial crisis. One way to assess the damage, total locked value or total value locked, TVL as they call it, which attempts to track deposits in this decentralized finance ecosystem. Glassnode estimates that market has lost $124 billion in just the past six weeks. Glassnode analysts also point to a flight to some of the U.S.-based cryptocurrencies. The supply of USDC, a so-called stablecoin that's pegged to the price of the dollar, has grown by roughly $5 billion since the start of May. Tether, meanwhile, that's based overseas, has seen the opposite effect with about $13 billion of redemptions. Kelly, back to you. Uh, that does definitely give us some great insight into how the money's moving around or disappearing altogether. Yeah. Kate, thank you very much. Kate Rooney. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.